Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're going to take a comparison. We're going to look at this month's April Monster Bass Box versus this month's April Bass Baits Monthly. Now, right off the bat, I only get these two subscription boxes that are kind of global, and then I get Florida Tackle Club, which is by far the best tackle box, subscription tackle box out there, hands down. But we're going to compare Bass Baits Monthly to what they came in for Monster Bass. It's plain and simple. We're going to do them head to head. We're going to put eat plastics against plastics, lures against lures, and see which one we think is better. Which one is the better value? Which one is the one we'll use the more than the other? And then an overall comparison. I'm gonna grade it from one to 10 today. Now I'll probably mess up at some point in time and give one a 20, but that's life. That's what this is about. I'm not, I'm not doing 52 cuts on this thing. I try to do one, maybe two, and I go edit them. But before that, and I got food or something on my face. Uh, this, uh, I got Thursday or Wednesday or Thursday, Mr. Bass, and I'll put a, a link to his channel below, contacted me and said, hey, I did this thing with Burley and I'd like to do it with you. It's a good way to cross promote um, and help each other. But what, we've, what we're doing is we're making our own mystery tackle box, $50 worth of tackle, He's going to send me what he thinks I would use. I'm going to send him what I think he would use and kind of have a little fun with it. However, I am taking this to the next level. And hopefully he doesn't see this, but if he does, I'm sorry. I'm not going to give too much away. But I'm what I'm doing is I'm giving him $50 of wholesale product. What you could, if you had the right means, you could go and buy for $50. Now, I'm not going to tell you how many lures are there because I want him to do it. He's going to do a review. I'm going to do a review. We're going to post them on the same day. It should be a lot of fun. But also, we're going to ask each other questions that maybe you might not know about us. I think we have open book on our, our lives. But this is another way to help each other, and I'm really excited about it. But like I said, I'm taking this to the next level, and this is what I've done. I've made my own catalog. That's right. I've made my own catalog inside of it is little descriptions of everything that I've put in his box. And of course, just a little background. If you don't know, I do graphics for a living and this took me uh, about 15 minutes. But I thought it'd be cool and I thought it'd be something different. So look for that, I think fairly soon. My box is going out to him on Monday. His was sent out yesterday, which is Saturday, so uh, it should be fun. Now, I should remind everyone, if you hear any screaming, I am actually filming for the first time during the day, something I don't do. I usually film in the middle of the night because I don't have a kid screaming when he's playing Fortnite with his friends, and then there isn't anything else going on in the background. But today it's kind of rainy and icky outside, so... I thought this would be the perfect time, but as I say that, I hear the neighbor started his lawnmower. So let's get into this month's April Monster Bass and the April Bass Baits Monthly. Right there. This is it. Which one's going to be better? So you saw my other stuff. You know what's in there, but let's start it off. And let's just go for both of them sent hooks. One sent a Gamagatsu hook. The other sent, I don't even know what kind of hooks. Oh, Mustat hooks. I'm gonna try not to do it. Now, Monster Bass actually sent the bleeding, uh, the red colored hooks, which is really quite great. A three pack, or there is, yeah, three, four piece. However, Bass Baits Monthly actually sent a five pack of off shank hooks. Which one are you gonna use more? Winner, Bass Baits Monthly. 
Now that has nothing to do with how good these hooks are. It has to do with how much I'm going to use. Which one are probably better? I actually probably would say the Gamagatsu are probably better and that has nothing against Mustat. But I think the five pack is in my opinion better than the three pack even though I do like the red. If you don't know, red actually is makes the bait look like it, it's leaving a little blood trail. It adds to the attraction of the bait. Okay, we're going to go with worms next. Well, we'll start with, let's do creature baits. How about that? Both We got a creature bait in each one. For um, monster bass, we got some X-Zone Adrenaline Crawls. And in Bass Baits Monthly, we got some Reaction Innovation Spicy Beavers. Both fantastic baits, to be honest. If I'm going to give the winner, Bass Baits Monthly gets it. It's a better, uh, we all know, Reaction Innovation, this is a bait that we've all used. I, I would imagine most of us used. It's a great flipping and punching bait. This is also a great flipping and punching bait. But this tail is a lot better than this tail. And this one is recognized as one of the best flipping baits there is out there. So I'm going to give this one again to Bass Baits Monthly. On a 1 to 10, I think this is probably an 8. I think this is a 10. In the hooks, I think the Gamagatsu is probably a 9. I think the Mustats are probably a 7 since I didn't do that one earlier. Next, we both got a spinner bait in here in this month. We got a Lunker Candy from Monster Bass and from Bass Baits Monthly, we got a Picasso Invisawire. Winner, Picasso Invisawire, 10, two. Now I don't think, I think this will probably catch us fish, the Lunker Candy will catch the fish, but this is not a name brand. And I'd rather have this, which I know is a name brand, and is fantastic bait over something I don't know much about. Next, let's see what else we got. Let's do, trying to match them up as much as possible. They didn't give us any jigs. In Monster Bass, they gave us the Slapjack. This little tungsten bait that I'll probably never use and never heard of, Catch Outdoors, versus another Picasso Lures, which is a, a dock rocket. I'm gonna give this a one, and I don't mean any disrespect to the people of Catch Outdoors or Slapjack Blade, but this is this is a 10. This is, this is a great product. Well, no, this is an eight. I'm gonna give this an eight. It's a Picasso Lure, it's, it's it's above, way above and beyond the catch outdoors. And I think probably this will do really well, but this one I need to change the hooks out on right away. Um, and I really think that's more for Northern places than Florida. And this, the, the Monster Bass bag is Florida related. Bass Baits Monthly is global. So I'm giving it to them. Next, cause it's gonna start to get a little awkward. We're going to take the most expensive baits that we got from them. One from Monster Bass, we got the whatever that field mouse is. Versus from Livingston Lure, the flat side 58 with their EBS system. This is a tough one. The problem, the, the biggest way I can, can do it, these are the, both their big baits in the box. One's probably, this is probably $12 or $13. This is probably $11.99, 12 bucks, somewhere in that range. Uh, you know, they add these these baits in to kind of overinflate the, the the whole box. But if I'm going to give one the winner over the other, I'm going to say this is a three. And this is why this is a three. It's 12 years old. Versus, I think this is still over an overstock bait, still a good bait. I'm going to give this a six. Um, and that's personal reasons, somewhat personal on that one. I've never, the EBS system, while I know it works, and I mean, Randy uses it, Randy Howell uses it, and a bunch of other pros, Hank Cherry and those guys swear by these things. I've not had any luck catching fish on with the EBS system. Do I like the electronics that it comes with? Yes. Does it help me catch more fish? No. But the field mouse, I'm not, a, 
the field mouse, while it's a top water bait and probably could do well in some instances, I know for a fact it's overstock. And I, I truly, I think both of these baits are overstock. So maybe you want to know, I'm going to raise the, the field mouse to a, to a five instead of a two, and I'm going to keep the Livingston at six. Okay. Now Bass Baits Monthly gave us two packs of plastics. They gave us the Gambler. A floating worm and then they gave us the Yamamoto um, cowboy which is a fantastic bait versus bass bait I mean monster bass gave us uh, some deep creek lures flukes they gave us a bait labs bait and some Thunderhawk lures so we really can't compare those name brand wise you get they'll they get a 10 for name brand the Yamamoto's are great baits. They're a great bait. And the Gambler, I, I think, is going to work too. I think in these cases, I'd give both of these an 8 probably overall. Uh, name brand and name recognition, it's definitely a 10. Everybody knows Yamamoto. Everyone knows Gambler. In the terms of name brand recognition for these three baits, I know Bait Labs quite well. I know Thunderhawk Lures because I've done some work with them. But I have no clue who Deep Creek Lures. And that, has that again, has nothing against that product you might you probably could catch fish with this so overall i would probably give this an eight thunderhawk maybe a six deep creek a two let's just say we average it out and say a seven for these three baits and that's being incredibly generous because really i would think it might be a six for these in terms of name brand recognition in terms of use i'm going to use these two baits for sure as I drop the stuff I'm gonna use these two baits for sure uh, the gambler and those on these ones I'm not using this this is a giveaway uh, I'm not really using this either and while I think this is a great paint job and great job uh, a good lure um, if I'm going to throw a top water, well, no, this will probably this might go in my tackle box. This this it's the right size. It's a good paint job. You want to? I'm going to say this goes in my tackle box. So I'll use that. When I look at the whole overall scheme of it, because now that I don't know which is in which, Bass Baits Monthly. I think probably of all the stuff in Bass Baits Monthly, I think there's only one lure I won't use, and that's the expensive one from Livingston. Uh, in the terms of the Monster Bass. I think in all the stuff I got from Monster Bass, I honestly believe there's only one bait I'm going to use this this month. And I will use the hooks too, I should say that. So two things in that box are stuff I will definitely I will definitely use, definitely use. The other stuff is good stuff, not quality stuff. It isn't name brand stuff. And while I know they're going to try to give us one bait each month that's from a lesser named person. I honestly believe in my in my opinion there's three or four in there that are no name people. Um, the Lunker Candy, I know the Slapjack, I mean people obviously know the Slapjack. I don't know the Slapjack down here in Florida, that's nothing against them. Um, the Deep Creek Lures, the Lunker Candy, uh, it's just... It's just not the same. In my opinion, Bass Baits Monthly won this month in April again. They won last month too, to be honest. March was a runaway for um, Bass Baits Monthly. Bass Baits Monthly last month was one of the best boxes I've seen subscription-wise, excluding Florida, Florida Tackle, in a long, long time. Um, it was that good. If I were to, since I do buy both of them, Bass Baits Monthly is going to continue to stay. And I, I appreciate Mario and everybody who said, you need to stick with Bass Baits Monthly, Steve. I, if I haven't said thank you, thank you. Because Bass Baits Monthly really is a, it's a really good subscription tackle box. It definitely is better than Monster Bass again this month. We'll see next month uh, what happens. You never know. You really don't know. Monster Bass is this constant uh, roller coaster of stuff. And we can't blame COVID anymore. We're even though we're still dealing with COVID and stuff like that. Obviously, there's companies that are doing these this product and this subscription tackle box to a level that makes these things work. So we can't give them that anymore. 
And I know there's a lot of Monster Bass people that just think this box is that good. I appreciate and respect your opinion. For me, this is my opinion. If I had to buy both of these or I had to give one to a friend right now, I would say go with Bass Baits Monthly. I would. I'd first say go with Florida Tackle Club first because I think they're above and beyond the best. But then I would say make sure you go with Bass Baits Monthly next. And Bass Baits Monthly isn't a regional one. I've, I've had some comments of people saying, look, maybe they shouldn't do a regional box. They should just do it all together and focus on getting the good name products that they believe they're getting because that is what Monster Bass put out in the beginning. You know, they're going down this Lucky Tackle Box road that went, went awry for Lucky Tackle Box years, two and a half, three years ago when Monster Bass first started, when Rick left Lucky Tackle Box to start Monster Bass. So... Um, I want to hear what you what you think. That's the truth. What do you think? You know, keep it keep it honest. Don't don't send the the hate comments because you can send them. I'm going to reply to them. You might not like my reply, but you want to know what? If we can respect each other and our opinions, it's all right. You're allowed to have a different opinion than me. That's the truth. You're allowed, to, I, and I don't even mind if you have a different opinion than me. Enlighten me why I'm wrong. That's I'm I have no problem admitting I'm wrong. I know that I'm going to be wrong more in the future. I mean, hopefully I don't pull another robo worm situation anytime soon because I don't want to catch that shit anymore. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. That's all right. I respect your opinion. I hopefully hopefully you can respect mine. And it's about fishing. It's about catching fish. Which one? Well, here's the best question: Which one of those boxes is going to help you catch your personal best? Because really, it's about going fishing. If you think that Monster Bass box will catch you your personal best over that Bass Baits Monthly, I respect that. In my opinion, I know for a fact that, for me, that that Bass Baits Monthly is going to help me catch more fish and possibly catch my personal best. Because there's more baits in that box I will use over the two things I'll use in Monster Bass. That is the key to this. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you, I hope you go check out Mr. Bass. We're gonna do that hopefully this week, and uh, I hope you guys like that. If anybody needs to contact me, by all means, shoot me an email, text me, comment, whatever. I'm gonna reply to them all as much as possible. Guys, I hope you have a blessed day. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. We will see you soon. Cheers. I want to personally say thanks for watching the video. So do me a favor, click that thumbs up button and help us grow this channel. If you want to catch your personal best, I'm going to show you how right now. You got to click over here. Why? It lets you subscribe to the damn thing. Or if you want to see our last video, it's right over here. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. We will see you soon. Cheers.